Now, the nominee to the position of chairperson of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, Bishop David Ogenda, says he will zealously fight corruption. Ogenda, who is a chairperson of Evangelical Alliance of Kenya and former presiding bishop of Christ Isaac uh, and Sir Ministry City, said the law will be his guiding principle as he collaborates with other agencies in tackling graft. Timothy Kipnusu reports. In an exclusive interview with KBC Channel 1 on Sunday, Oginde thanked President William Ruto for nominating him as chair of the anti-graft body. This is a very significant role uh, for our nation. Uh, one of the things that have really bedeviled our nation is corruption. And so for him to consider that I could uh, stand with him in this fight against corruption is something that we don't take for granted. The former presiding bishop of Christ is the Anza ministry said corruption should not be weaponized in Kenya, even as he called on bodies mandated to slay the dragon of corruption, to do so in accordance with the law without interference from the state. Our nation is a democratic society and we have systems and structures to deal with every problem that we face. So when there is a problem, let it be dealt with according to the law. Points to succeed Archbishop Eliud Wabukala. What is his view on having spiritual leaders serving in that docket? This is significant for us because the church stands for values, the church stands for morality, the church stands for ethics and uprightness. So it is an opportunity for us as a church leaders to demonstrate uh, and have opportunity to also help the nation to move towards a life of integrity. So Oginde, who is the immediate former chancellor of Pan-African Christian University at the same time, Dismissed claims that the church had slacked in being the voice of reason on matters of national importance. If there is any voice that has been very, very loud in the recent past, it's the voice of the church. Uh, in every aspect of our social life, you have seen and heard us talk about corruption for, uh, for uh, example. If his nomination is approved by the National Assembly, Oginde will replace Wabukala who retired in January 2023 after six years of service. The retired Anglican Church of Kenya Archbishop took over after Philip Kinisu who stepped down in 2017 following overwhelming corruption allegations. Timothy Kipnusu for Sunday Express.